guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to get a dewy, glowy, bronzy base like this one. Just an FYI, I have not used any highlighter today. My base is just glowing, just as is. As always, before we get started, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you do like it and if it does help you. If you don't already, then please do follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of mini tutorials and tips and tricks and things like that on there. So definitely follow me on Instagram. This is my handle right here. And now let's start. So before we move on to the voiceover part of this video, I really quickly want to talk about skin prep because trust me, skin prep is the most essential thing you will do to make sure that you get the most flawless base. And the best part is it does not need to be complicated. A simple routine like just cleansing and hydrating will get you where you need to be. In fact, for my skin prep, all I do is just use two products out of which one is a face wash and one is just a moisturizing cream that I apply all over my face. So let's get right into the demo. The first product I'm going to be using is this face wash from Dermavive. It is their Hydra Cleanser and it's got natural colloidal oatmeal in this. Now the reason that I have been loving this one is because honestly it is one of the most gentle cleansers that I have used. It is free from SLS soap, fragrance, parabens and lanolin which obviously just tells you that it is an extremely gentle gentle cleanser and because it is soap free it actually doesn't even lather as much but it cleanses the skin really well without stripping it of its essential oils oh that feels so good i mean believe it or not it had been just two hours since i showered and did my regular post shower skincare and everything but my face still looks a lot cleaner than it did before i cleansed my face which is freaking amazing and the best part is that no dryness, no tightness in my skin. Like that is why I have been absolutely loving this cleanser right here. This is available on Amazon, by the way. I will link it below if you want. It is a science-backed skincare product. So science-backed skincare basically is something that a dermat would recommend. You know, you'd go to the pharmacy and get it as opposed to like a Sephora or an Ulta or something like that. Anyways, moving on. The next step is to moisturize the skin to hydrate the skin now it doesn't matter if you are oily it doesn't matter if you have dry skin it doesn't matter if you have combination skin you need to hydrate your skin this is a make or break step for your base moisturizing your skin is is going to determine how your foundation sits on your skin not just as soon as you apply it but a few hours after you've applied it as well no matter what your skin type you need to hydrate even if you have oily skin, you can have dehydrated skin. There's a big difference between dehydrated skin and dry skin. Dehydrated skin is when you don't have enough hydration, enough water in your body because of which your skin goes dry. Now for this, this is the product that I've been using. This is the Nutriderm Moisturizing Lotion. Once again, this is Science Backed Skin Care 2. It works for all skin types, really good for sensitive skin as well. And I basically just apply it all over my skin. I even take this to apply it under my eyes as well. I don't go, I don't use a separate eye cream anymore under my base. When I say anymore, it's been about a month that I started using both of these products. But yeah, it's just so good. I myself have combination skin and these have been working so well for me. It basically gives your skin the right amount of hydration and because this is science back skincare it also helps over time in reducing your acne scars it helps over time in reducing um, irritation from sunburn it is really good for dry skin patches that you have if you can spot treat them with this so that's basically what i have been using it's called nutriderm and i will link this as well below again available on amazon final step is to hydrate your lips for that you can use any lip balm any chapstick anything you want i'm using this lip tint and balm from sol sol de Janeiro. i really don't know how to pronounce that brand but anyways i will be putting all the details of all the products that i'm using in the description box so you can check it out from there and now let's get into the base we're going to go into voiceover for this because if i keep talking i'm going to keep blabbing way too much and this video is going to be like 20 25 minutes long so anyways i hope you enjoyed this little skin prep slash skincare yeah. session before our base and now 
let's get right into it so starting off by using the mattifying primer from makeup forever and i'm just applying that on my t-zone and a little around my nose basically everywhere that i get oily and what's amazing about this primer is it kind of acts as a pore filler as well so you get that two in one action right there next i'm using something that i've newly discovered this is the all nighter ultra glow primer from urban decay and this is this really helps give that amazing dewy finish to the skin so i'm just applying that all over my face moving on to foundation i'm using the stay naked foundation again by urban decay and i'm just using that on my morphe m439 brush which by the way is my holy grail brush when it comes to applying foundation it just helps blend the foundation in so well and just gives such a nice and even finish with the foundation, you want to make sure you apply a super duper thin layer because you are going to conceal afterwards and you don't want to be packing on too much of foundation because honestly, it's really not needed. A foundation should basically just give you a nice even finish and then you do all of the additional heavy lifting with a concealer. Should definitely not be wearing that white headband, which is why I obviously had to take it off and just put my hair back for my concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, another one of my absolute favorite products. This concealer is bloody amazing and I'm just applying that to the inner corner and to the outer corner. I've been doing this off late and honestly it works really well as opposing to just packing product on under the eyes. This helps with creasing less as well. Uh, next, I'm using this brush from Real Techniques to blend that concealer out and basically with the lightest stippling motion, just blending everything in and just placing it where I need to. Honestly, using a brush is so much better, I feel, than using a beauty blender just because it helps you get that finish and it does not absorb a lot of the product. The brush kind of leaves the product on the skin. I hope that's making sense. And then to bake and set, I'm using the Luxury Banana Powder from Makeup Revolution. Tapping off the excess, and this is another one of my absolute holy grail products when it comes to doing my base. Honestly, I use the Huda, Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder as well in the shade Banana, but the yellowness and the shade of this powder, it just looks so good on my skin tone. It brightens it up so well. And it's drugstore. I mean, come on. It is freaking amazing. The powder is so fine. I just absolutely love this one. So I'm just baking everywhere that I did conceal and also on the center of my face. So that's my chin, nose and forehead. Also for the sides of my face, I don't necessarily bake because it is the drier area of my face and I don't want to bake there. So I'm just kind of setting it with the brush. And now I did my brows off camera and effectively baked for about five to seven minutes. And now I'm just brushing off all of that excess powder before I move on to bronzing. To bronze, I'm using the Hoola Benefit bronzer and this is a matte bronzer. Now, the reason I'm using a matte bronzer is because it kind of helps to bring the color back into the face. It helps to bronze and at the same time, it helps to contour as well. So I'm just using the brush that it comes with and I'm starting closest to my ear, concentrating most of the product there and then kind of blending it out towards my mouth. And I'm also bronzing throughout the edges of my face because that just looks super natural and gives that really nice, warm, sun-kissed glow. Honestly, bronzing just makes such a huge difference to your face. I mean, I just love it. And the shade from Benefit is too, 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 too perfect for my skin. Next, just to get that super snatched nose, I'm just adding some more powder to the center of my nose and I'm just going to leave it on there till I finish the rest of my face. Next up, now I'm taking a shimmer bronzer and with a bigger brush, I'm just applying that all over my face, basically wherever I have bronzed all over the edges of my face. And this is what gives that real glowy effect. So when, when your face moves, this bronzer is going to make that shimmer and that sheen move along with your face. To add even more glow and a little pink, I'm using the world famous NARS Orgasm Blush, another holy grail product. And I'm just concentrating that to the apples of my cheek before I move on to the super secret trick of mine. Now coming to my absolute favorite tricks, 
I'm using a dry beauty blender and I'm just running that all over my face. This is something that I've been doing forever and trust me, this is what will help blend all of those powders and all of those products and just basically bring everything together. Try this trick, trust me, it works really, really well. Finally, I'm just setting everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Spray. Honestly, this is also a newbie in my collection, but I absolutely love it because it gives an ultra dewy look. And we're done, guys. This is my entire base routine. As you can see, it's super glowy. It's super fun. It is super duper easy. Trust me, follow this step by step and believe me, you can achieve this super glowy base. A bar highlighter, I know at this point I would usually apply highlighter to my face. I do apply it after my setting spray. But the thing is, off late, I have not been wearing a lot of highlighter un unless I'm going ultra glam. Just because the blush plus the glowy setting spray plus like all of that, the glowy bronzer together, as you can see, I it's already, I have a really nice and really um, glowy sheen to my face which is why I don't additionally put on extra highlighter if it's not needed but by all means if you want to wear it then this would be the right time to put it on wait to put it on till after you have uh, worn your setting spray it just helps the highlighter catch on and really makes it pop a lot more but this is it for me I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you want more like these or if you have any questions please do put it in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to answer them and I'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.